Well, I grew up on uh, Ellesmere Street, the Italian section of uh, Worcester. At the time, it's not Italian section anymore, but it used to be the Italian section. There were nine kids in my family, um, and I was the third oldest, as my father was a workaholic, which I ended up being a workaholic myself. He was a workaholic. For him, it was all about work, and he instilled that on, in us. We lived in the neighborhood where my mother lived in one house, and her mother lived right up the street from her, and we were always back and forth, and it was that kind of an at atmosphere. Now it came time for college, and a little bit of an aside, I wasn't a great student. My heart wasn't in school. My heart was outside of school. I didn't like the four walls, the feeling of being in the school. So I didn't do, I didn't excel as far as <laughs> scholastics are concerned. Not only was I not great in school, but I was a little bit hyper. <laughs> and I had an appointment to see Worcester State interview with the dean. And at the time, I was driving a, a, a delivery truck. And I had an assistant that run in, would run the packages in for me. So I had an appointment to see the dean at uh, noontime one, after, one day. And uh, I put my best t-shirt on and my best pair of jeans. <laughs> and uh, the, the appointment was at noontime. And I drove up to the school in my delivery truck left my person there and said, I'll be back in a little while. This was my lunchtime. So uh, I went in and I said, I have an appointment with the dean. She says, well, have a seat right over there. He'll be with you in a few minutes. So I sat down and I waited a few minutes. And then I got up and I said, I had an appointment for 12 o'clock. It's now 12.10. She says, well, the dean is very busy. Have a seat. He'll be with you in a few minutes. So I sat down again and I waited a few more minutes. And then I got up and I said, I had an appointment for 12 and I'm on my lunch hour. She said, well, the dean is very busy. I said, well, you tell the dean I'm very busy too. And with that, I left. So that was my experience with Worcester State back when I was 18 or 19 years old. And that never left my mind. As it turns out, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't go to college. I went to New England School of Accounting for two years. But many years later, uh, and I might say I was quite successful. Uh, and the reason I was quite successful is not because I'm that bright, it's because I just refused to, to accept no. Now I said I want to give back. I decided that a contribution that I would make, the, the size of it, wouldn't matter that much to some place like Harvard. But it sure would matter to some place like Worcester State University, where they have everything to offer at a reasonable price. If somebody got a 5000 or 2000 or scholarship, it would go a long way. And for me to donate money to that school will serve or does serve the students very well. So if a student gets one of my scholarships that could be from one to $5,000, it goes a long way at Worcester State University.